back to another video on my channel. I'm um, sorry it's been a minute since I've done a video for you guys. I am doing a get ready with me video just to catch up uh, you guys up with where I've been, what I've been doing, and um, some stuff exciting, some stuff isn't. So let's just start putting on makeup and get to talking, I guess. So yeah, first things first, I should get this out of the way. I'm not feeling very well. Um, I am feeling kind of sick. I don't know, it's like more cold-like stuff, so if I seem kind of low energy in this video, that's why. Um, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know if it's because, um, of allergies, because I do have allergies. But also, um, it's been really, really cold lately, and so that might be part of it too. But also I got my COVID-19 uh, COVID vaccination. Uh, like two weeks ago and online it did say some people were having like cold like symptoms after the fact um, So that could be it too. I haven't been this sick in a while Because normally I don't get sick, but yeah, it's just been kicking my butt <laughs> this weekend So um, that's why we haven't done anything for Memorial Day weekend I wanted to go to the beach and stuff, but I've been too sick and it's been raining <laughs> and like 50 degrees out all weekend so there's that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with some concealer under the eyes. And I don't know, I guess I'll do a full beat today. I'm just planning on staying inside, really, um, obviously. But I figured that this would give me motivation to get more work done if I had a full face on and if I was recording a YouTube video. And that would motivate me to do more stuff around the house. So this is just as much for me as it is for you guys. Okay, so let's do. What else do we talk about? Let's talk about the most exciting thing. Um, I'm not going to say too much about this because I still want this. It's still a, like an ongoing process. Um, and nothing, I mean, I, well, okay. So I signed a contract for Chris Fay um, with Yukiota Publishing. And uh, they, I've made a video for them. That's also why I'm behind a video this week. Normally I post weekly, but I didn't post last week because I made a interview video for Yukioto Publishing. Um, I will put their YouTube channel in the description down below as where you guys can watch my interview. Um, I've also shared it to like my Instagram account. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it by now. But uh, yeah, I, I got signed on with Yukioto Publishing and they wanted to sell Curse Fate. They wanted to put it in print and sell it online. And so um, I said, sure. I, I applied to a bunch of different publishers lately and they were the first to get back to me. Um, but they've been super helpful this whole process. They're a really small publishing company um, and they're relatively new. But that's okay because they offered me a good deal and there's some things I might have to take on by myself because you know they don't have as many resources as like the really big publishers do um but i felt like this being my first book like it's better to just take baby steps you know and they've been super helpful they've been uh very on top of getting back to me with emails and stuff um so yeah so i made that video for them you can go check it out um i'm gonna keep you guys updated with the progress, like when I um, see the book cover for the first time, um, I'll throw that off to you guys. I'll do a book cover reveal. And then when I have a release date, I'll let you guys know too, in case you're interested in that, in case you follow me for my, my writing stuff. Um, and you want to see more of that project, it will be on this channel in the future. It's just a lot of things are out of my control right now or out of my hands and I just have to wait <laughs> and give feedback. Which honestly is the hardest part because I'm really impatient and I, and I just want to do everything now. So yeah, I mean very exciting stuff. I'm really really happy because this has been like a dream of mine since I was a little kid. Uh, believe it or not, I was like a really shy kid and um, I didn't really have a big group of friends despite going to like a small school. I was always kind of like the nerdy kid that was just like, oh, good at school, but then like other people found annoying because <laughs> I was kind of annoying. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really have a whole lot of friends, so I read a lot and I was pretty shy. And you know, I've, I've read books since I was like in preschool, so I always wanted to make books for kids like me who were, I don't know, I guess like introverted, but people who just felt like they were alone. And now I'm doing that, and I feel like that's a big theme in the book too. Like, oh, like it's hard because a lot of my like subconscious stuff and issues came out in that book more than I thought it would. Um, 
like here's me spilling tea on myself um but yeah so i think i did that um so i'm waiting back to hear from like editors and what they think and i will keep you guys updated with that but yeah so far very very exciting stuff um and that's what i've been working on since i've been gone off my youtube channel for a little bit so yeah now i'm going to set my face um i do kind of i collect halfway bake so I bake underneath my eyes in areas basically where I put the concealer and then I let that sit a little bit and take a brush and just kind of swirl everything else around. And if I feel like um, powdering other parts of my face, I, I'll just use a normal brush for that. But normally I just stick the powder on there and kind of press it into the skin. Um, I don't know how good this is for your skin, uh, but this is the kind of effect I like to do. So yeah, what's next on the list? Okay, we got vaccinated two weeks ago, so we're all good with that. We got Pfizer. Um, <laughs> I was very sick after the vaccination, not gonna lie. Um, I had like stomach issues and stuff, and that's also why I think some of the illness I'm having now might be related to that. Um, because my immune system is shit, apparently. I do not have the superior genes. Um, Douglas is completely fine. He didn't have any sorts of reactions to it whatsoever which I didn't think was fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this past month, I've just been sick for pretty much half of it. Um, so yeah, we got vaccinated. Um, my book got a response and we're publishing with Yukiyoto, which is very exciting. Um, so that's what I've been working on as well. Um, oh, speaking of that too, I don't know how often I'll be posting on my Wattpad account anymore, um, just because the Ooh, I spilled on myself. Hang on. Um, oh my god, I really did. Oh shit. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be posting to my Wattpad account as much anymore. Um, just because base, how this works is that like with my contract, I can keep up to twenty percent of like my work online um, for this specific project. So I deleted a, a lot of the chapters I already posted because I was like halfway done like I posted like half of the book I think on what pad and it was and it was pretty long I think it was like 50 chapters of course those chapters are shorter than the real chapters are um that's just because the internet's attention span is a lot different um but yeah I took most of the chapters off there I think the first five are still up but um yeah I don't know how often I'll be posting to it now um just because like it was great to stir up like a little bit of a community and for that I'm really thankful. Um, but I've also been doing it on my Instagram even though the there's still kind of both like really small communities on there. Um, but I just don't want to get in trouble with any of the stuff in my contract. And in case I have like future projects maybe I'll post on there and then once they're sold I'll take them off again. Um, but also that seems like a lot of work. So let me know what you guys think I should do. Do you enjoy seeing the, like the unedited version of my stuff on my webpad? Or would you rather just like wait for me to save it and get it all done faster so that way it's um, it's out for publish faster? Because um, even though it doesn't seem like a lot, like the formatting for webpad is a little bit different. Um, and you know, I do a lot of like social media advertising with every chapter I post for Wattpad and I just don't know if that energy would be better served like actually writing and, and prepping for uh, new projects as opposed to posting stuff online. Um, but again, that's up to you guys. Let me know what you prefer and I'm totally going to do that now that this is kind of like going to be my full time job, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I think there's this like misconception that a lot of authors are successful right away and they get paid a lot of money because their books sell a lot. That's not always the case. Um, being an author is like being a small business, so it's literally determined by your readers or customers and um, you know how much support you have. So I'm not expecting to make a lot of money in the beginning and um, I've already gotten comments from family and friends ab about that and I just, I, you know, my thing is always I, I want to be transparent, right? So um, honestly, like, just don't assume <laughs> that people are buying my book. Like, if you want to support me, like, wholeheartedly, that is honestly the best way to do it because that will be my source of income from now on unless I decide to get a job on top of that. Um, I... I I hope I can do this full time because like it would be like dream career, right? Like it would be awesome to just be imaginative and creative and get paid for the work you make. Like that for me is a dream job. So um, yeah, that's 
hopefully it will work out. I don't know. Okay, now we are blushing. Oh my god, my hair. Also, I need a haircut desperately. Like, it is so freaking long and I need to get it shaped again and cut and like now it's just fading and it's really really pink as opposed to red but like I got cool highlights though not gonna lie like thanks nature for working your magic on my hair but uh it's not as vibrant as it used to be so I, I just need to clean up on my hair too and hopefully I can do that sometime soon okay so I'm just gonna blend that in with my sponge real quick to make it seem more natural, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm gonna contour a little bit today with like this eyeshadow. Um, this is <laughs> what I do because I'm lazy and I don't wanna buy an actual contouring palette. Um, and just, I, it's doesn't, it looks kinda dark in the pan, but it doesn't show up as dark on me. Um, so I just kinda use that for jawline and cheekbones. I also use it as like a base for my eyeshadow sometime. sometimes. Um, what else? So, actually, um, Douglas and I also bought plane tickets to go see my mom for, not 4th of July, but like after 4th of July, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so we'll be there for uh, a little over a week. Maybe almost two weeks? Nah, almost two weeks. Um, I'll be back home in South Bend in July. Um, so maybe I could do a cute like little vlog thing with like my family and stuff. Um, showing you some Midwestern realness. <laughs> uh, this is Douglas's first time going to a fair, like a 4-H fair, and I've been wanting to do that with him for a while now, like since he moved to the States, um, but we've never been home during the summertime or appropriate time for a fair. So um, now that everything's back open, I guess, um, we could do that. I'm still a little, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still a little shaky about like going out in public again. Like I know I'm vaccinated and stuff and that I have the right to do these things. Um, but like, I know I'm not going to get anybody sick or anything, but it just still feels weird, you know? Like it still feels taboo, or at least that's what I think. So I don't know, let me know if you guys feel the same way too. Like it's hard like conditioning ourselves to like going back to normal, at least that's what I think. Okay, for eyeshadow, I don't really feel like doing anything too over the top really. I mean, I feel like I just want to do like a wash of color and like, I don't know, something that will give my eyes a little bit more depth. Should I do purple today? I don't normally wear these, so maybe I should. Um, yeah. The thing about purple though is that they just stain everything, like not gonna lie, so um, my brushes will be stained for a minute, but it'll be worth it, hopefully. This is still my Able Sisters. La Bella the Ball palette from ColourPop. Oh, that's something I should mention too. So, um, as you guys know, I play a lot of Animal Crossing, and <laughs> I don't know why, but this week I decided to completely start over. Like, I erased my old save file and made a new one so that I can work on a new island that actually has a theme. And I, w I wanted to like do this and like get a card capture capture thing so I can record uh, me playing Animal Crossing and I thought those videos would be fun to do because that's honestly like 50% of what I watch on YouTube is like Animal Crossing videos <laughs> or watching other people decorate their islands even though the hype for the game is pretty gone I, I would say um, like I don't know I've still been playing it uh, and I really enjoy it so yeah let me know if you want to see those sorts of videos too um, I know like my video game videos on here probably don't do as well like that's why I've been really wishy-washy about playing games on here um they don't do as well as some of my other videos do and I'm really trying to just like cater to my audience and what the people like but I also want to do what I like too so I don't know maybe like Animal Crossing is decorative enough to be fun I don't know but it's a game I really like I also wanted to like get into Star uh, Stardew Valley too I think I've mentioned that on the channel before Oh yeah, but anyway, back to Animal Crossing. Um, so, I was thinking, I started over and I have a new island, and I called it Masan, which means apple in Portuguese. My last island was Pesago, which meant um, peach. And that was literally just based off of the fruit I had on my island. But anyway, so yeah, I started over. So if you have like certain fruits I don't have, will you send them my way, please? That, that would be much, much, much appreciated. Um, I still need cherries. Let's see, I need cherries, peaches, 
and oranges. Those are the ones I still need. Um, but anyway, so I, with Masan, I decided that I'm gonna do a food themed island. Or, yeah, like food themed or like restaurant themed. I just kind of go with that because I've seen a lot of people do like cottage core and fairy core and spooky core and all these different kind of kid cores and just every core you can think of. Um, and they look really, really cool. I just wanted to do something different and I love food. Like, so um, I wanted to do something that would make me really happy and engaged. And it's something that was relatively easy, easy to because I think there are a lot of food themed villagers and items in Animal Crossing. So um, yeah, and it's something I haven't seen before by anybody. I'm not saying it's unique, but it's just something I haven't seen anybody else do. Because um, it's like kind of basic, but yeah. So I'm going to do a food core themed island. I already have like three villagers picked out that I think that are going to stay on my island because their names are like in, like kind of already food themed. Um, I have Sherp, which I had on my last island, but I let him go, but he's going to stay on this one because of like Sherbert and I'm going to make him like have an ice cream store. Um, I also have Ketchup, who was like my dreamy that I like really, really wanted on my island. So I'm really happy that she's on there and Ketchup has, is going to have her own like little pizza restaurant. Um, that's already pretty much done. I kind of already started before I record because I am impatient <laughs> and I can't do anything, but, um, anyway, so Ketchup already has her pizza restaurant and then I have Cherry, the, not the dog, but the bear cub villager and she, I think is going to have like a pie shop thing. Cause like, I, the, I was like, okay, well what kind of food does cherries go with? And like, clearly it's like a lot of desserts. Um, but I wanted her to be specifically pie because I still want to have a um, meringue. Like meringue is also one of my dreamies. And I think like if we're talking about food themed villagers, like we cannot ignore meringue. Like she would be perfect. And she's one of my favorite villagers too. So yeah, I, I need to have meringue on there and she's clearly desserts. So I thought, well, she can be like an overall bakery type thing that does like desserts and breads or whatever and then uh cherry will just do her pie things in the woods i made her some more of like a like a woodsy cottagey uh pink pastel pie place if that makes sense um i hope that sounds good to people because i don't know yeah that's what i've been doing with animal crossing island and i don't know i think it's cool so i hope you guys enjoy it too yeah, I've ho I um, haven't bought the card capture yet because um, it's kind of expensive, but, 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 my birthday is coming up, so maybe I'll buy it for myself for my birthday as a gift so that I can, like, do more fun stuff on YouTube and do more fun video game content, because even, like, with the new Pokemon games that are coming out on the Switch, like, if I want to record myself playing that, um... I would need a card capture for that too. I want to do more stuff like that because it's been a while since I've even played like a Pokemon game to be completely honest, like this, on the channel especially, but um, yeah, because this is supposed to be like a Pokemon and beauty and like anime type channel and oops, where's the Pokemon, you know? I feel like some, some people in my audience are getting a little frustrated at this point and like understandably so, I'm so sorry. Um, this is just my state right now. I'm so busy with all this other stuff going on. It's it's hard to set aside time to just sit down and play a game purposefully, like to record, because playing a game for fun and then playing a game for the purpose of recording a video is like two different mindsets altogether. I don't know if people realize that, um, and I'm not complaining at all. Like that's not what I mean, but I'm more attentive of what I'm saying and doing when I'm playing a game that I'm trying to record as opposed to just me just being silly on my own and like trying to relax, you know? And this glitter, I don't know what to do with it. I'm just gonna pop it on the lid a little bit. I wanted the, hol the, like, the holographic color, like um, this one. I wanted it to shine through a little bit more, but I just feel like it doesn't contrast enough with some of the other purples in this palette to do that. I feel like if you wet your brush and do it all over the lid, it's also really pretty, but it's just like if you're working with all the colors in this, you almost have to do the glitter instead of the holographic one. So now we're going in with mascara. This is my favorite part because this is when stuff starts looking good. Okay, there you go. See, 
so much better already. Okay, um, so now I guess we'll just do highlighter and lips and we'll be done with that. This highlighter is one of my favorites. It's not necessarily the brightest, uh, but it is like more of a natural glow and I think that's kind of what I want to do today. Especially since I'm just staying inside. Let's see, what else, what else? I know I have, I have a big list of stuff going on. Um, oh, okay, so one more other thing, sorry, um, is that I am, so my beautiful, beautiful husband, who I love very, very, very much, is building me a website. So that's gonna be great. Um, again, when that goes live, I will let you guys know via my other social media things or I'll, I'll make a video or post about it or whatever. Um, that I'm getting a professional website, woohoo. Um, it will just be my name, CassieVanGundy.com when it's all done. So don't look for it now because it's not done yet. But that'll be the place where um, it's gonna act, sorry, uh, it's gonna act more of like, like my resume, I guess, online. Um, where you can see that and also I'll be blogging on there um, regarding anything that's about writing or my book uh, so if you want to see that go ahead I'll probably post like videos on there too or like links to videos I make that I think um, cater to like a water wider audience not just like Pokemon stuff you know um, so I'll, I'll be putting updates on there too but yeah if you want to stay updated with me that'll be yet another way you can do that um, and I'm excited for that to come out. It's gonna look really, really cute, I promise. Um, it's gonna be like a very pink, black, and white color scheme because that's the colors I wear the most often. Um, <laughs> and that kind of speaks to me and like who I'm about and like what my books are about. So yeah, I'm excited for that too. Okay, so now we're gonna do lips. And I think with purple eyeshadow, I tend to just do a nude lip or like a dark, dark lip. Um, so yeah, let me throw something on real quick. I decided on using these. I use these every day. I swear to God, I really do. Um, these are like the pick of the bunch, just to tint, ColourPop, Animal Crossing collaboration. And these, I think, got really mixed reviews online. Um, not a lot of like, I don't know, not a lot of people use lip tints, I guess. But I really like these. I use these two every day. Um, so I'm going to use the darker one on my lip today. Okay, and this is the final look. Let me just push my hair back, I guess, so you can see the whole thing. Um, okay, I hope you like it. Um, this is kind of like, I guess a full beat kind of, but more of like, the makeup I put on when I want to feel good, and I feel gross, so this makeup makes me feel a little bit better, a little bit more like a human being, which is great. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching me transform into a human being again, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, I hope this video kind of clears up a little bit of like what I, where my brain's been at for the past couple weeks and where I've been. Um, and. Yeah, I promise I'll put up more content for you guys. I swear it'll be more regular now, now that um, certain things in my life has regulated, regulated itself out, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully I'll feel better soon, it's like wellness-wise, so I can be posting more stuff. And then um, hopefully I'll be pushing out content more about me and about my book, as well as the stuff I normally do um, about video games and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I can talk to you guys about the animes I recently watched. That could be fun too. Um, so yeah, with all that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching and until next time, thanks. Bye.